Fitting for an investigation about a serial killer. All these murders have whipped this town into a frenzy. Now it all leads here to a gala celebrating a time when Salem found itself swept up in another whirlwind of hysteria. Tickets will go on sale to the general public. Tonight is a special members only event. What's so special in there tonight? Museum must be doing well to turn this away. I couldn't get out. The fire was merciless. Gather round and bear witness to the righteous proceedings of a trial of a, a, a most heinous nature. Now you, good woman Putnam, you stand accused of the murder of seven of your own children, whom you claim were taken by forces of the this devil. This freak show better give me some answers. I did not do it. My devil spawn of a child is my own accuser. Bearing the spawn of the devil. I Fascinating stuff. Why was life so brutal? Your has testified to this court that you did take from her a puppet. And she began to have pains of the belly and bled most woefully from her nether parts for five days. Was or was not the puppet used to inflict this suffering? It was not. I have engaged in no witchcraft. Yet she did find the puppet, folded in half at the belly, thus proving her demonic curse upon her. Mary Warren is a witness to the same, as the girls played with it in the bedchamber. The puppet was folded in half. It proves nothing. Goody Putnam, do you confess your guilt at inflicting harm of a demonic nature upon your only surviving daughter? I do not confess it. And do you confess to the demonic contract that took the lives of her other seven children? I neither confess that. Confess now, good woman Putnam. Confess and ease your soul of your most foul crimes. I would dangle from up on high, then confess to crimes for which I am innocent. There were children accusing their own parents? Yeah, I mean, if it's here, I guess it's true. I can't imagine what it would be like to have my own child turn on me. It blows my mind that this really happened. Not just in a play, but in the lives of real people. Yeah. Seems like just about anything can get you accused of witchcraft. God, women had a raw deal. make my voice deeper. I don't know why we're here. I'm trying to avert my eyes, but there's horrible stuff everywhere. How does the wood get preserved that long? Not like they had cranes back then. So, what's the point of this? I'm trying to get people to talk. It's hot. Confess! Oh, Confess! More confident! The 
demonic contract with the dark forces. I remember a bright flash, and then nothing. Upon us, Abigail Williams. No. You scourge of Salem. It is time to pay for your sin. Whoa. People really died here. It's not as bad as the things in here, but wouldn't it be awful? Being locked up in one of these things all day? I mean, just the physical discomfort. Exactly. What if you had an itch? Shit, people constantly mocking you? I don't think I could take it. Would it be all day? Could they drink water? Itches just thinking about it. people could read the sign. What made us derail that day? I always wonder. How does 
does the wood get preserved that long? So it wasn't just witchcraft that would get you in here. It was all kinds of things. You could get adopted for gossiping. I wonder how long they left people underwater. The train was so loaded oh, down with ammunition, mighty, like we were a rolling bomb. I suppose. Plus, everyone was staring while it happened. Sure, it was police lights.
So the Bell Killer used torture devices like this to kill his victims. Why kill them like witches? I'm surprised there's no exhibit for the accusers. It's such an important part of Salem's history. Actually, several artifacts aren't on display yet. We're currently preparing them upstairs in the restoration room. Better to see what else is in here.
Joy? I told you to look after Iris. You're not the boss of me. I found a bunch of stuff downstairs. The Bell Killer is offing his victims as if they're witches. I'm heading upstairs to see what else I can find. I should have told you to follow me, then maybe you would have stayed at the church. You know me so well. Keep an eye out for security cameras and alarms. Thanks for the tip, but this isn't even my first break in today. Yeah, this looks like the right place. Now let's see what these artifacts can tell me about the witch trials. with odd sensations, centuries old. I'm trying to focus on this killer, but the echoes from these sensations keep interfering, like deaths from the past, pleading to be remembered. My husband and I stepped off the platform and onto the giant hissing locomotive. I remember looking back at our small town and thinking of all the happy memories we made there. But I was excited to start our new life in Salem. I, I must have dozed off because I was startled awake by the sound of screeching metal. And as the train came to a halt, all I could hear was the torrential rain pelting against the roof. I looked out the window 
there was only darkness. Then came the brightest flash of lightning I had ever seen. When my husband left to inquire about the delay, a woman in the back of the train started screaming. We rushed over to her and, and asked her what was wrong, but all she could manage to say through her sobs was something about seeing the spirits of the dead wandering in the rain. Stranger still were the passengers that were suddenly stricken with the painful memories of their past. It, it was at this point that I became truly terrified, so I set out to find Joe. When I reached the cab and still hadn't found him, I was worried. I looked out the front window and saw the train's conductor laboring to move a downed tree from the tracks. And there was Joe walking up to help. However, instead of grabbing hold of the tree, Joe bent down, picked up a rock, and crushed the conductor's skull with it. When I left the train and ran up to him, I could see that this wasn't the Joe I once knew. Something had taken hold of him, something angry. Then he saw something that terrified him. He dropped the rock and ran off into the woods. However, right before he disappeared into the trees, during a bright flash of lightning, I, I thought I saw something chasing him, hunting him. I can only describe it as a ghostly specter, cloaked in black. Mm. But more likely than not, it was just a shadow. The authorities spent days combing the woods for Joe, but he never turned up. I tried to go back home, but the memories were too painful. Some nights I lie in bed, tortured by the thoughts of what our life could have been if we had never stepped onto that train. It will always belong to you. For shame, Bridget. This shmar of your conversations with the spirit world will surely condemn you as a witch.
Keep looking, there's gotta be more here. I need you to lift up this painting. It's called The Hanged Witch. It's creepy. Oh. It's the killer symbol. targeting mediums because he thinks they're witches? That's insane. Who do I know that's interested in mediums? Baxter. dropped the case when he was demoted. All right, we found the killer's symbol. We got a suspect to look into. We're almost there. And not one step closer to finding my mom. Like I said, the world doesn't need another whiner. You know what? Screw you. You don't understand. Don't understand? My wife was murdered three years ago. She got to float up into the white light, and I got stuck here in this place with some bitchy teen. Ugh. Your mom's been missing what? Two, three days? Huh? And I guarantee you we'll find her. If I fail, if we fail, 
I'll never get to see Julia again. Ever. We won't fail. I don't need a cheerleader. Look, I'm sorry I didn't know about your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we need to act on the information we found. You head off to the church. The church? Where are you going? Baxter's our prime suspect. I need to get over to his apartment and see if I can dig up any skeletons. Probably not a good idea for a fugitive to visit a cop. Fine, I'll meet you later. I just got a text. Did you hear something else happen just now? Something bad. Someone told me about a murder. No, like this just happened. Police are all freaking out. What happened? I don't know. 
Sounds serious, though. Can't stop thinking about the dead cop. This whole place is bad news. said something horrible just happened at saint benedict's the church what is going on in this town tonight oh man it must be true i think i hear sirens don't know why we're here Where you headed? Oh, no, no. 